me along to take it away. Thanks so much, Graham. Hello, how is everyone? Um, hope everybody had an amazing red day yesterday. I'm excited for all of you to tune in on, on a Friday of all times, uh, on a Friday afternoon, unless you're on the West Coast, then morning, um, for today's session on, on three simple steps to kickstart Team Rich. Uh, my name, as Graham said, is Alana Huber-Katz. I am currently the co-owner and director of business development and coaching here at Keller Williams Legacy in Towson, Maryland. I've uh, been with Keller Williams since 2015, worn multiple hats, started as an inside sales associate. So lead gen, lead conversion, lead gen, lead conversion. That's my jam. Um, agent for a while, assistant team leader, and have been a coach since 2017, building and rebuilding multiple coaching programs throughout many different Keller Williams locations. Um, so in 2018, why this topic is so near and dear to my heart, in 2018, I actually started uh, providing leads to my coaching team, as I called them. And I didn't know it was called a Team Ridge. There was no name for it back then, or at least I didn't know the name. Um, and if, if some of you might have joined the previous Zoom, we talked about the five mistakes uh, going through. By the way, if you have not attended that, please, um, you can message me. I'll make sure all my contact information is in the chat box. I will definitely get you that recording. It was all about the five mistakes made when launching Team Ridge. Um, I have made many, many mistakes uh, when kickstarting. So over the years, since 2018, I've worked with multiple people across the nation on how do we simplify it? So that's really what we're going to be talking about right now. Just 20, 30 minutes on a Friday talking about how do we simplify starting or restarting, maybe we're relaunching it, um, Team Ridge. And as you can see from the picture here, I love games. I love creating everything into a kind of a gamifying way. So a lot of what we do in um, the upcoming program, Brokerage to Team Ridge in 90 Days, we're going to be gamifying launching and creating Team Ridge. As we go through this, please put your questions in the chat box. Uh, I can, I will try to get to as many as I possibly can. I'll also have my email and cell number in the chat box. So after this, if anybody wants to reach out, please do so. I'd love to connect with you. Uh, just give me a few days to get back to you um, and how I can help. So let's dive right in. All right. So let's talk about the very first thing. Step number one. Now here's the thing, step number one and two are, they go together, okay? So they're they're kind of on the path together. But the first step I'm gonna talk about is the who, okay? So I wanna just open this up really quick and see what people put in the chat box. Cause I'd love to know, is anyone on here right now already, maybe you already started up a team ridge, maybe you have kind of the foundation of it um, or you're thinking of starting it. Anybody on here, throw in the chat box, yes, I've started team ridge or about to. I just love to kind of gauge the room and see um, kind of where people are with this. So I'm just going to look in the chat box. Yes, started it. Awesome. Thank you. About to, thinking about it. Lots of about to's. Trying to sort out our resources. We're going to talk about that today. Love that. Um, working on the details. Yep. So thank you so much. Here's what I'm hearing in that. Everybody's on a journey right now. The journey is either, yes, we've started it and maybe we need to scale up or relaunch or readjust, right? I always call it everything we do, we tweak along the way. Or it's, where do I even begin, right? We're somewhere in that journey. So the very first thing, and by the way, when I say first thing, I'm also going to say throughout the journey, you're going to do this multiple times, is finding the who. The who is going to be the person or the people, I'm going to talk about an example in just a minute, of who are these players who are starting this up. Now, I'm going to throw out a personal opinion right now, so you can agree, you cannot agree, that is perfectly acceptable. The team leader should not be the head of Team Rich. You can oversee it. You can hold the Team Rich person accountable. You can be the visionary, but you can't be the head of Team Rich. Okay. The biggest reason for that is, well, I'm going to ask, let me ask the, let me ask the masses on here. Why do you think I'm saying that? Why do you think I'm saying that? Throw it in the chat box. What might go to the wayside if taking on Team Ridge. 
So recurring to Team Rich absolutely play a huge role in that. We're going to talk about that. Yes, thank you. Be on appointments, recruiting full time, absolutely meeting with people, building relationships with non KW agents, right? However, the TL can be the visionary. So I talked to, um, so who should be the person? Now, here's the thing if you don't have, we're all about, you know, if you're at mega leadership, one of our first sessions we talked about in the room was cutting expenses, right? Cutting costs and, you know, examining our expenses. So this doesn't mean you have to run out tomorrow and put a huge salary in place to hire someone. You might have some players already in your market center who can help with this. I'm going to give you an example right now. Uh, there is a team that I work with, um, amazing leadership team out in California. I've been working with them since December on launching their team Ridge. And for them, they have started with their entire leadership team. So they every single person from the front desk, agent services, their MCA, their TL, their OP, their tech trainer, um, as well as their lender partner, all seven of them came together, together in a room. I hopped on a Zoom and everybody took on a role, right? Everybody has a little lane within TeamBridge, right? Because the biggest thing is, is you need a visionary. You need someone who's going to meet with the agents and onboard them to TeamBridge. You need an accountability person for the agents. Oh, we're going to talk about that because that is huge if you want conversion. If you just want to spend money on leads and get no conversion, okay. But I highly doubt that because we're doing this for a profit, right? And to help the agents at the end of the day. So we need that person to hold the agents accountable. This at the end of the day is a full-time job for somebody, right? Long-term vision. Now, long-term might be 90 days. It might be six. It might be six months. It might be a year. But the long-term vision, whatever that is for you, is to find that who to run it. Okay. So let me stop there before I move on to the next screen and see if there's any questions regarding this topic or thoughts on this. I love that, Molly. Everyone has to have accountability, not just one leader. You have to have, you have to cast a vision that all buy into. That is so perfectly said. Yes, absolutely. Uh, do you think the leader of Team Ridge needs to be an agent? Absolutely not. So uh, here at our market center, I actually have myself and two amazing coaches who oversee Team Ridge. Um, we just got three new people signed up to our Team Ridge just today. So that's exciting. Uh, so they are the coaches who run coaching and Team Ridge. Um, that's actually one of the sessions in Brokers to Team Ridge in 90 days that we go through on what that could look like. Uh, so to answer Krista, your question, Yes, a coach can run it. Now, an agent can also run it. Maybe you have a, an agent at your market center who they're fully bought in. They're so engaged. They have a little bit of experience. So they're not crazy mega agent yet. Maybe they have two years experience. Um, and maybe one of their goals is to grow a team down the road of their own. So this might be a great avenue for them to partner with you, partner with your leadership team to gain leadership skill set, be poured into by you at a higher level, creating a win-win scenario regarding splits, um, and then them overseeing and running this team ridge, right? There's multiple locations who have found that one agent uh, who has, by the way, who has the time and the ability. Now, when I say ability, we're all leaders on this call. Okay, so hope it's okay. I speak freely here. Um, some agents are just, let me just hustle, get my listings, get my buyers, get my closings, right? But then there's a different mindset. And that other mindset is I have a passion for helping others. I want to coach others. I want to hold people accountable. I want to see their success, right? Important to them. That's who you're looking for, Okay. Right? The other agent, great agent, we love those agents, we need those agents, that agent is going to focus more on their business than they will, than they will on the agents in Team Ridge. And unfortunately, that tends to, from what I've seen experience-wise, um, not work out, okay? Because the agents are not getting what they need. All right. So let's talk about lead sources. There's the thing. I'm not going to sit here and talk about various, you do see some names on here. 
I'm not going to talk about very specific companies or anything like that. I find that every market center is different. Every state is different. What works for one might not work for all. What I'm going to talk about are some best practices and things to start with and why. All right. Is it safe to say that we all would love to see the fastest instant gratification conversion? By the way, there's a little reaction button at the bottom of your Zoom. Okay, bottom of Zoom, there's a reaction button that has a little thumbs up, a little heart, heart emoji. So I'm going to ask this and then ask for reactions. Is it safe to say that we all would love to see instant gratification and a closing right away from Team Ridge? Yes, I see some reactions going. I love that. Okay. Everybody said no. We talk after this. Um, so I'm going to share a little story. And that is my first year and a half starting Team Ridge before I even knew it had a name uh, with 42 agents in my coaching program. And I spent thousands of dollars, uh, my own money, on leads. I ran Facebook ads like crazy because I am all about the social media ads. Um, I also pulled in tons of expireds and for sale by owners. And I just threw a bunch of agents in. I threw a bunch of leads in and said, here you go. Great. We're all going to make money. So throw in the chat box. What do you think happened? Bunch of agents, bunch of leads. Go at it. What do we think happened with that? Let's see, Let's take some guesses here. Let's see what people say. No follow-up, Wild West. Oh, I like that. No organization. Yep. Limit of results. Flop. Yep. Every one of these words, uh, low ROI, no conversion, nothing. Whammy. Oh, that's a good one. Um, yeah. Oh, it, it full-on flopped. Year and a half. I uh, did not inspect what I inspected. I didn't have structure in place. There was no, it was me, myself, and I. Um, I was saying agents want leads. I'm going to give them leads. And here you go. And then instead of starting with just a few agents and a few leads, I went all in. So going back in time, if someone says, what would you do it? How would you do it over? Right. Which, by the way, I've relaunched and relaunched and relaunched and literally just relaunched four months ago yet again. Now, when I say that, I don't want you thinking that sounds exhausting. Tweaks, okay? It's not a full scrap, just making adjustments along the way to improve and improve and improve. The one thing that I've learned and multiple, multiple um, team ridges across the nation that I work with have learned, start with a lead aggregator if you have one in your, in your, in your state. Okay, now lead aggregator is simply just warmed up leads that get transferred to an agent by phone for a referral back to that company. That's all that means. Now there's tons of them out there. There's Prime Street, Op City, Ojo. There's a, if you go to Google, there's probably about 20 other ones. Okay. But it is a warmed up person, renter or seller or buyer on the phone with that agent Right now, that agent does have a referral fee back to that company, but it is the fastest turn, fastest rate of return you can see. We've had forty five warm leads in the past four months and eight closings from them. Just gonna let that sink in for just a minute, okay? As opposed to about a thousand Facebook ads, social media leads sent to somebody in their very first year when I did this and one closing from that, okay? Now, you're gonna wanna build. We actually have seven lead sources now in our team Ridge. One of them is absolutely social media ads. That's actually our biggest one today, but we had to get to that level, okay? So we wanna start with rate of return. We wanna start with profit first, then add on from there. Another really great one that is not thought of, it's kind of that uh, getting a little creative, is your top producers databases, right? Going to your top producers, your mark center and saying, hey, do you have people in your database who you just can't get to? Maybe you have old leads you put in there years ago. Maybe you paid for a system that poured leads in and you're just not, you're focused somewhere else and they're just hanging out there. 
how about we have these agents calling them for a referral fee back to you? Okay. Some will absolutely take, take you up on that, right? Now, obviously, put something in writing, right? But that is a free source of leads. It's a win for the top producers and a win for these agents on TeamBridge. Okay. So the very so the first step is finding that who. Who's going to start that up or the who, plural, right? Maybe there's a few people. And then the second, which by the way is kind of simultaneous, is what is that one lead source you're going to start with? Just start with one. Now, if you've already started, think about what's that second lead source you want to add or how do you grow the one that you currently have? Okay. All right, let me pause here for just a minute before I move on to the third step. What questions do we have on this? By the way, some things you want to think about. I'm going to give you some things to think about. One, who's going to be in charge of, of looking into some of these lead systems to pick out which one we want to start with? Who's going to manage the leads? Who's going to be looking at them just once a week? I only We look at them once a week on Mondays for about an hour. We get in there for an hour, we just do a quick spot check. So it's not every day. And a lot of times it's like, oh, I don't have the time for this. I have to, I have to do this every day, right? Time blocking. Right? So who's going to manage the leads? Who's going to hold the agents accountable for the follow-up of them? Putting them on smart plans. Um, who's going to be running the skill workshops to teach agents how to work the leads? Right? Unless you start with some agents who've already had a few closings under their belt which is also a great practice. So again, just things to think about as you're adding in a lead service. All right, throw your questions in the chat box. I'm gonna move on to number three. All right, so we have the who, we have some leads. Now we need an agent. Okay. Now, one of the questions that was asked early on is, can the productivity coach run TeamBridge? Can they oversee it? Absolutely. And by the way, whoever that person was, feel free if you're thinking that um, to shoot me an email, shoot me a message. I'll put all my contact information in the chat box. I'm happy to walk through what that could look like for the coach um, with you and, and how we line it up here with, with my coaches, uh, with our coaches. So we now need agents, right? So thinking about how do we find who are the agents we want in TeamBridge, right? The, one of the things is if you have a whole list of agents in your Mark Center, let's say you have 200 agents in your Mark Center, and let's say that 150 of them are solo agents, meaning they're not already on teams, right? Out of those 150, we know that some are ghost, some are engaged, some aren't, right? Some might get engaged once we start pouring more into them and providing them leads. By the way, that will happen. People will come out of the woodwork for this. Right now, it's simply finding the few. Look around your market center. Who's that? Who are just those few agents who are showing up for things? Maybe they're showing up on Zoom. Maybe they come in every so often for a training, right? Do they show up for coaching sometimes? Do they even just reach out to you with questions? right? Which shows that they want to learn, right? Those are the individuals who you want to start with. And then the beginning, just start, start small. You're going to want to scale this up, right? Right now we have, as of today, um, we used to have 56 people on our team, Rich. Uh, we, since our relaunch, we put some more standards and expectations in place, which shifted some people out of team, Rich. In a good, they're still with our brokerage, they're still wonderful, still in coaching, just out of the team ridge. Uh, right now, we have 33 people still in. Don't start with 33. Okay. Start with one to four, right? Even if it's just one, just start with one to four, start with a few leads, and then you can scale it up as what's best for your brokerage and you and who's running it and the leads and the conversions. There's no exact time frame of this. It's what works best for you. The one thing I do recommend though, or do highly suggest is 
to not plan to plan. What I mean by that is don't say, okay, I have one lead source. I have two agents. I'm just going to stay there because I'm comfortable. Okay. We always say we grow in the uncomfortable, right? Or we grow when we're uncomfortable. So get uncomfortable. What I mean by that is, okay, once you have that, you have some things in place and some systems and people in place and the training in place, immediately bump up lead, add some agents. Okay. It might just be a few more leads and one more agent or two more agents. Because the faster you scale up, the faster you will see even greater results. All right. Now, the other part on here is how does Teamridge benefit the Mark Center as a whole? Teamridge is one of, the, once you have some lead flow, it is one of the easiest and fastest ways to get a, uh, somebody through the door. It becomes an attractor. You start running ads, Facebook ads, um, putting ads on, I have, an ad, I have ads running on Indeed, right? Making calls, shooting a mass text, getting smart plans in place for emails and text messages to the masses of agents outside of your brokerage, right? And you simply share with them that mofer, right? Hi, this is Alana with Keller Williams Legacy. Uh, have, uh, have you heard about our new Team Ridge lead program? We have 30 agents. Um, we have our, excuse me, we gave our agents 45 leads in the past four months, eight closings, and 33 potential appointments have already been set. Could you use some additional leads and appointments? Reach out. Let's schedule a time to talk. You share to someone out there, I gave a lead to a person. Do you want leads? These agents are, are absolutely going to reach out to you. Right? Now, it might be with questions and curiosity, but they're going to reach out. Right? That's half the battle. All right, let me check the chat, see if there's some questions in here before I move on here. Um, All right, so I see Nancy, a sample post on the screen. It would take me a little longer to find that sample post, but what I can do is when I email the recording of this to all everybody who's attending, I will add in there a sample post as well. So I love that you said that. I'll share that with everyone, absolutely. And then finally, have something in writing. Now, you don't have to have the full team merge agreement set in writing, although that is something uh, for any of you who have signed up uh, next Tuesday, May 16th, I'm doing a little plug here, next Tuesday, May 16th kicks off the MAPS Fast Track Program, Brokerage to Team Ridge in 90 days, where we will be working through not only more in depth on the who, the agents, the lead sources, scaling up, getting started, um, getting over our, just our own fears of starting it, right, or, or growing it, but also going through standards, expectations, value adds, and creating that team merge agreement together. Okay. Now, in the meantime, what I will, will provide all of you with is what I call the, the starter, kind of like the starter packet. Uh, prior to our full team merge agreement here, I started an engagement agreement. An engagement agreement is a one-page document saying, here's our splits for the leads, what I expect of you as an agent. Do you want them? Do you agree to this, right? Because again, you need, if it's not in writing, it doesn't exist. All right. Now I know this said three simple steps, but I thought I'd add a bonus in because I'm also a labs advisor with Keller Williams International and I've been using Pro Coach Command for our Team Ridge, uh, as well as our coaching program because you can't have multiples. And it is a, it is a lifesaver. Before I was able to hire, I got to the point where I was able to hire some leverage. Pro Coach was my personal assistant. It tracked activities. It sent auto emails to the agents for their daily reminders. I have every agent. It onboards the agents on Team Ridge with smart plans. It has everything set up for the leads for smart plans. Um, it allows you to share things with the agents joining coming into Team Ridge. So I don't want to get too far into that because this is not about command right now, but I 
just personally had to throw this in there because this truly was a lifesaver for me personally uh, to automate things and, and get things going at a higher level when it was just me in place and no other individuals to help. Okay, okay so number one, find the who, knowing that the who could be an agent, the who could be a coach, the who could be the entire leadership team, including your front desk person, the entire leadership team having a little part in it, right? Everybody kind of take a piece while you're building it and gaining revenue to be able to hire a who. So number one, find the who. Number two is lead source. What one lead source are you going to start with? Determine that one lead source. Now, here's the thing. You're going to change. I have absolutely tried lead sources, didn't like them, scrapped them, tried other ones, right? But find that one lead source to start with. I do recommend lead aggregator. It's going to give you a faster result, right? But anything that starts with a lead, wonderful. Have something in place to track that lead or a person in place to track those. And then finally, look around your market center, right? Today, next week, look around and say, okay, who are these agents showing up? Make a little note, like, okay, who are these agents I keep seeing the faces of, the names of, who's asking questions, who's engaged, who's showing up, um, who attends Ignite, right? Who wants it? And then have a conversation with them, simply saying, hey, if what we're looking to do is start up a new program that provides you with some lead flow, lead opportunities, would that, uh, different splits, of course, would that be something you would be interested in? You say lead opportunities to agents, they will say yes. They will absolutely say yes. Get something in writing and then just start. Just start. You're going to, you're going to have mistakes. You're going to grow from there. You can scale it up as big as you want, but just start, right? That's the foundation. All right. So you see on the screen, Brokerage Teamers in 90 Days. I hope I get to see all your faces there or somebody on your team there uh, hopping on that next Tuesday. This kicks off the 16th. But let me just, while I have this up there, let me just check the chat box. We have a few minutes extra for some questions. So let me just jump in here and see what they are. And I'm also going to put all my contact information in here so you have it. Okay. All right. You can email me, you can text me. Um, I'd love to reach out. I will send this reporting to everyone. Do you have a KPA profile for team rich leaders? Great question. While there isn't a profile in the KPA called Team Ridge, what I've found uh, just through talking to other myself and hiring and also talking to multiple other locations nationwide that have launched successful Team Ridges is uh, Coaches, high, high productivity coach. That's a great one. Because again, they're focused on the passion of helping others and pouring into them. They have that natural coaching ability, which you want for accountability. Another one is director of lead gen. Director of sales, director of lead gen, great ones. Again, because they have a passion still for helping others at the higher level. And they also are systems related. Um, so this is just a few uh, that I would recommend looking at. Um, all right, let's see other questions in here. Yep, I mentioned I will share a sample post, absolutely. All right, my contact information is in the chat box. Anything you need is also on the screen. Anything you need, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Again, if you've started already and are now looking to grow it, or you're, you started it and you're not seeing the results yet, please don't hesitate to reach out and I will provide you with some guidance on that. It's usually something really small to tweak, right? There was a team that I was working with this morning on Zoom and they have, they started it up. They have five agents in, they have lead flow going. These agents are excited. They are excited and they're struggling. They're not seeing the results yet. And for them, it's, a simple little adjustment on teaching the agent, role modeling for the agent, how to have those initial conversations with the leads that are coming in. 
right? It's just the accountability and the skill set part that's their little tweak. So usually if you've already started and you're looking to scale up or you haven't seen success, it's usually one easy thing that we can put in place together and, and you'll start seeing some results. Absolutely. One thing about teamers that I will tell all of you, this is the long game. If you're looking for a get rich quick scheme, this is not it. This is the long game, meaning we're going to build it, build a foundation, grow it, and then see great success from it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you jumping on on a Friday. Um, I hope you got something out of this you can take away from. Any questions, reach out. Love to help you out.